Hello folks and welcome to Tiny Games Lab. This time I'm going to teach you how to make this tutorial, this little checkbox in radio buttons tutorial. So it's going to be three videos in the series. The first one I'm going to show you how to make these ones. The second one I'm going to make you, I'm going to show you how to make this one but with the slider version of the radio and checkbox buttons. And the third one I'm going to show you how to make this slider version with this little cool animation effect where the little ball drags behind. Okay, so let's head for the first one. So we're going to start by adding some sprites. So let's create sprite from image. And let's select my folder here. Sorry, this folder here. Yeah. And I'm going to select these two images. Okay, so that's unchecked and checked version. And open. Okay, so let's give it a name. Let's call it sprite ugly checkbox. The origin, I'm going to set it to 32 by 32 okay and let's add an object create object this object also let's give it a name object ugly checkbox because i don't like it that much let's set the sprite to this one let's add a create event create okay on my create event i want to set a little bit of code let's start by setting my control to false so control is going to be the variable that's going to hold if it's on or off the checkbox okay and i'm going to set my image index to zero and my image speed to zero because i don't want it to be switching images with okay and let's add a new event gonna be a step event let's remove this and let's first check if i have clicked the checkbox with the mouse so mouse check button left button pressed mouse button left and I want to check if I am at the instance position, mouse X, mouse Y, and myself. Okay, so if that's true, I'm clicking myself. If I am clicking myself, I'm going to switch around the control. So if it's on, it's going to be off. If it's off, it's going to be on. And I want to switch my image index to control. So when it's true, it's going to be 1. When it's false, it's going to be 0. Okay, so that's basically it for our checkbox button. Very easy. And what I want to do now, I want to duplicate this. So let's go duplicate and let's start by changing the name now i want to do the radio button so i'm going to call it ugly radio okay and within the step event of this i want to create some code here so i'm going to do a with statement so with object index so with every object of ugly radio I'm going to check if it's not myself, so it's not the one that it's calling, that's not the one that has been clicked, and if the control is true, so it's not clicked, the one that was clicked, but it's true, I want to do some code to it, no, so I want to set the control to false, because that's the one that I have to switch off, because I'm switching any one on, and you want to set my image index to control, which is going to be equal to zero. Let's close this with statement. And with that, we're ready. Okay, so I went ahead and I set up a room here. The room has nothing in it. It's just a purple room, 400 by 400. And the only thing I have here is a creation code. That's game set speed 30. Okay, and game speed frame per second. So this is a code for Game Maker Studio 2. If you're on Game Maker Studio 1.4, all you have to do is set 30 to your room speed and everything's going to be fine. Okay. So let's head back there and let's add our button. So one, two, and three ugly checkboxes. And let's add the radio buttons here. So the radio, when you click one, it's going to be unclicking the next one. Okay. So let's try it. Okay. So I have my checkboxes. They're all independent of each other. And I have my radio buttons, which I can only pick one at a time. Okay, I hope you like this tutorial. If you like it, please click on this like button. If you want to subscribe to my channel to see more content like this, please click on the subscribe button. And I hope to see you on the next tutorials.